now talking about the uh, cell chi so you know this ascending aorta it's you know it has not been dissected here there will be aortic walls aortic sinuses right so the anterior aortic sinus there is this right coronary artery that emerges out and there it continues here you can see it's a sulcus here they have actually you know lot of amount of fat is there there between this right atrium and right ventricle this is the you know this is the right atrioventricular sulcus you have like a circle this av sulcus is like a circle which is separating the two atria from the two ventricles so that's how we divide we you know call it as right anterior av sulcus right posterior av sulcus right so this is the right av sulcus between the right atrium and the right ventricle and it lodges the right coronary artery then posteriorly you have the two, uh, you know this posteriorly this right av sulcus it continues down here behind between the right atrium and right ventricle and this is called the posterior right av sulcus and it lodges the posterior uh, uh, coronary right coronary artery so called as marginal artery now <clears throat> the left coronary sulcus the left coronary sulcus actually the left coronary artery is arising from the left posterior aortic sinus and this is all not very clearly visible right because the reason is the left anterior coronary sulcus is not visible because of these ascending aorta and the pulmonary trunk overriding it but the left posterior coronary sulcus is visible you can see it's this left posterior coronary sulcus between the left atrium and the left ventricle so that was about the av sulcus now about the interatrial and interventricular sulcus so this is the base of the heart and you are seeing is this left with the two uh, you know paired pulmonary veins draining inside right and here it is this svc and ivc draining so this is the right atrium and if you place your finger inside on towards the left side you find is a wall and that is this this wall on the lateral side on the left side is interatrial septum so here you can say is this groove which is not very it's faintly visible this is the posterior interatrial sulcus between the you know this is the left atrium this is the right atrium with svc and ivc so here it is this posterior interatrial septum which is faintly visible but anteriorly it's not visible because of the great vessels then talking about the interventricular sulcus right so you know this left coronary artery it's this you know the left auricle so this is the pulmon pulmonary trunk first of all it passes behind the pulmonary trunk and then here is the left auricle so below to this left auricle actually this left coronary actually is dividing into the two branches here is an you know anterior interventricular artery descending now and the left coronary artery continues as the circumflex coronary artery so this anterior interventricular artery that it's also called lat left anterior descending coronary artery this you can see is running in the anterior interventricular groove anterior interventricular groove right okay then this groove if you trace it it reaches onto the base of the heart right this now this is called the posterior interventricular sulcus and here it is lodging the posterior interventricular artery which is generally a branch from the right coronary artery now you got to know about the four sulcus right and left coronary or av sulcus and right inter interventricular sulcus and interatrial sulcus the point here posteriorly on the base and between the junction of 
base of the heart and inferior surface of the heart the point where interatrial septum meets interventricular septum meets and the right and left coronary sulcus meets this point here is called the crux of the heart okay and behind to the left you know this is the left posterior coronary sulcus it is here that you can see it is lodging this the largest sinus or the vein of the heart and that's called coronary sinus this is the coronary sinus and it drains into the right atrium you can i don't know if it's visible there it actually is opening up inside here into the right atrium here it is opening up here inside so this is the opening of coronary sinus into the right atrium okay so that was all about the sulcus